Hello everyone, I'm the Black Shadow, and I welcome you back from my somewhat unplanned and very unscheduled uh, little uh, break I um, ended up having myself um, from LPs, uh, but thank god I am back to do a Let's Play series. And, well, I always have a happy time of trying to, you know, say something in these games, but in all honesty, folks, I honestly think this game did. You know, I remember I uh, mentioned back in Resident Evil 1 how, you know, Resident Evil 1 um, defined the survival horror genre. In all honesty, folks, I think this redefined it. Um, it is a, you know, oh, game I remember playing. Oh, plenty back in my uh, back in my previous years, uh, back from ninety. Oh, I think yes, it was now. Oh dear, I'm getting rusty. Um, but yeah, folks, uh, this is this is a fantastic game, and in my personal opinion, I know it's put down as a survival horror game. I don't think it is, folks. This is not survival horror. This is psychological horror. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be fun, folks. <laughs> oh, but yeah, folks. Um, I uh, I do. I, I'm a little sorry about all the the mess that's happened the past couple of weeks, but um, I finally got all my stuff back. Thank God. Um, you know, I, I'm not at the house now. I'm uh, busy here sitting um, sitting here at my sister's. Uh, so I will thank her very much for. Letting me camp out until I can actually find somewhere pub or such to live. Um, but I'm back to what I enjoy doing. And hopefully what you will enjoy watching. Um, I know what uh, you've been definitely looking forward to this LP and finally Finally we're here. You know, after about two weeks. But the thing I find hilarious is how this game I brought it forward because remake isn't working, but then it got backdated and it's about where it would have been anyways. <laughs> Oh god. I hope you've been paying attention to this video because I've actually made no comments about it whatsoever. Um Oh dear. Oh boy. No, don't hit her. It's not a good idea. But folks, I welcome you. I welcome you to the Let's Play Silent Hill. Oh yeah, what a defining game of the PlayStation 1 era. What a defining game. Now, before we start, there's a, um, a couple of things I want to go into the options here. Um, you might be wondering who that very handsome-looking man is down the back. Um, it will all come clear. Now, I'm going to very quick just screw around with uh, one thing here. And this is the uh, the controller configurations. Um, back to like, sort of like Resident Evil, um, so they had uh, numerous um, control configurations, and, you know... This one does. However, you have the ability in this game, you can actually go around and actually create your own, um, you can actually create your own uh, sort of setup, actually, which is quite cool, actually. Um, and the only thing I'm going to do here, folks, um, assuming the game actually lets me, is that. I won't have the items on triangle and the map on back. Uh, for some reason, the game thinks it's a brilliant idea to have it that way around. I'm yet to figure out why. Um, maybe I will one day. Um, but, you know, I honestly think that's probably the best way to go about things, um, folks, uh, put it back the other way. A bit more sort of Resident Evil sort of style, almost. Um, that and I much prefer having, like, uh, here, like, the aims R1 instead of R2, and, you know, a, a lot of this will, you know, become a bit more, you know, it will make sense sort of more as we go along, and I, I just prefer it, and it's a nice little feature you can screw around with that sort of thing. But anyways, folks, we are, of course playing this on hard, of course, I mean, what else do you expect of me? I mean, come on. You know, if I didn't play this on hard, I'd, I'd, I'd never live it down. I mean, it's gotta play it on hard. You know, love the challenge, but, uh, folks, I, know I haven't really talked much about this game actually itself, um, <laughs> so sorry. Um, but, in all honesty, folks, I am so, so glad to be back doing more LPs, and it is a joy and a pleasure to bring you it back into the world of survival horror and to be honest down psychological horror street um, or however you want to look at it whatever folks I, I welcome you to let's play Silent Hill and that this sound there always skips slightly there 
don't know why. Dear. Well, I hope you didn't hit that woman that was uh, on the street. Uh, hey, wasn't there a little kid there? Hmm. Funny. Where the hell is he? I mean, I've heard of thick fog, but that's pretty... That seems pretty bad. No wonder he crashed. You probably can't see a damn thing. No, I certainly can't see a damn thing. Cheryl. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the name of uh, his daughter, by the way. The ghost town. Well, you know, at least it's snowing as well. I mean, that's, that looks kind of cool. Hmm. Well, I wonder where she is. We might as well have a bit of a look. We don't have a clue where we are, what we're doing, or why we're here. You know, but you know, our door's missing. We gotta go find her. Oh, there she is. I think that's her. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, that's her. Blue little checkered dress thing. Cheryl, is that Cheryl? I'd have said so. Where's she going? Well, actually, considering we've just been in a car crash, she's doing Where pretty are you well going? actually. And is and is uh this guy here as well? Hey, wait! Stop! Get, get back here! What are you running off for? Where the hell is she going? Where the hell are we, fucked up? Would you, would you get back here? I swear to God, don't let me ground you. Well, I'm assuming this guy's uh her dad. I would shoot. Is an interesting way of running, but I'm willing to look past that. Oh god, not more dogs. Uh, they won't leave me alone! And... Whoa! What in the... What the hell? That does not look very normal. Folks, can you hear that in the background? Is that... Can you, what was that, like an air raid siren or something? What's that about? I mean, come on, this isn't set in the 1940s. Hmm. What the hell? Yeah, it's getting dark. That was pretty quick. Well, maybe, no, maybe it's the Blitzkrieg has restarted, folks, and, uh, you know, turn off all the lights so they can't be seen. So Harry's obviously going to get bombed. Wheelchair. What the hell is going on, folks? Where the, the frick are we? Where the frick Cheryl? Hospital bed? What the hell is going on, folks? The Why do I have a feeling this is not some this is not normal? What in God's name? What the What is this? Oh lovely! What's going on here? You expect me to know? What has happened here? I don't know. Well, what, what the? Oh, they don't look good. What the hell? What the frick? Let's get the hell out of here. I'm getting out of dodge. What the? What's that fence? Wait, that wasn't there. Folks, what the hell's going on? Hey, get off me, you son of a! Get off me! Where the hell did Cheryl go? I mean, did she come down here and... There's got to be a way out, surely? Maybe the... What the hell? This isn't supposed to be happening. Uh, uh, what are those things? What are they like? The... What the... Oh. And we're dead.
Fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed that Let's Play series, folks. Um, wait, wait a minute. We're live at... Well, hello. <laughs> oh, God. Was I dreaming? I don't know. How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. <laughs> but I'm alright, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. That that's your defense. I came You're here a tourist. for vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. Well, maybe maybe this this woman here might have some answers. I'd like to find out myself. Uh huh. <laughs> Always love that. Uh huh. Have you seen a little girl <laughs> like she gave a damn. Just turned seven last month. Short, black hair. My daughter. Ah, so it was um, dad. Dad is Sorry. the daughter. I was right. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Huh. That's odd. Where is everybody? Maybe they've all gone on holiday or something, I don't know. I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell... Something bizarre is going on. Oh, great. Of course it's something That's bizarre. There's no logical explanation for it. Of course. Why not? What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Harry Mason. Our protagonist. Sybil Bennett. And Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. I'm assuming Brams is a made-up place like Silent the Hill. Phones are all dead. And but then if I, too. but now I say, if there's someone who does them a place called Brams, I'm, I'm sorry, I've insulted you in your town and said that you don't exist. Apologies. Hmm. No, I'm assuming Silent Hill doesn't exist. Why is that be pretty bad? Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. That's fair enough. No way. So you're gonna it's look for me? Dangerous out there. What do you mean it's dangerous? In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. There's no one around, so how can it be dangerous? I can't just leave her out there by herself. Now, is a field dangerous? Have you got a gun? A gun. Um, no. <laughs> Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. Sound advice. And don't go blasting me by mistake. <laughs> Why, thank you, Sybil. Yeah, thanks. Although she's magically spawned a second gun. But never mind. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. So off she goes to... Well, get some reinforcements. I mean, I don't know what just happened, folks, but something tells me that was not normal. I mean, that's a pretty bad nightmare if ever I saw one. Health drink? Uh, yeah, this is um now this is the the fun part of the game where I get to talk about all the game mechanics. Isn't that wonderful? Um, so yeah, so if I just uh, drop this for a second, if I take you um oh no, don't have the map for this place yet. So uh, I'll get used to. But I've changed the controls again. So folks, I welcome you to the item screen, and this is um you might notice this uh color sort of like it's purple. 
that's actually sort of further proof that I'm playing on hard because this color actually changes depending on uh, depending on what game mode you play it on. Uh, if it's easy, it's like a light green. Uh, normal, it's like a blue. But on hard, it's purple. Right, so what we can do is we can equip the uh, handgun. I'll talk about the handgun in a moment. Um, you can see we've got our life um, there. I still think that picture's... When that the the bar appears behind it, that that's not entirely supposed to happen. I don't think, but I couldn't make it any better, and I honestly can't. I can't remember. So, um, so that this screen you'll be seeing plenty of lot, of folks. Um, and this uh, health drink here, as you can assume, that will restore a little bit of your health. Not a huge amount, but enough. Uh, what do we also got? We got a flashlight. Uh, that'll be very handy. Uh, a little bit later onto the game, but not just yet. Um, we got here. A residential area map, and you'll notice it actually looks like it, it looks like a proper map, actually, for that matter, folks. Um, you know, like a proper like tourist map, um, and we'll be using that plenty, I can assure you. It... Did you just? Oh, I thought I saw something. Nah. Um. Anyways, moving swiftly on. Um. So yeah. So this is uh. Yes. Some days, someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully, they will find my notes useful. And this is basically the um, the save system, folks. Obviously, they couldn't use typewriters, so they went for the next best thing and used notepads. However, I have the glorious power of save states! Hurrah! So, I won't need to worry about those. Got a pinball machine, which apparently uh, Harry doesn't want to play yet. Um, we, uh, let's have a look down here. we got a health drink here as well, and a knife, I think that is. Uh, yep, the kitchen knife. Not a very useful item, folks, uh, to be quite honest. Right, well, let's, um, get the hell out of here. What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? It's a weird radio channel, if ever I heard one. Hmm. That's funny. Uh, what the... Whoa, holy crap! What the hell is that? What is I'm gonna... What the... What the hell? Right. If I could ever... Ow. Appreciate if you didn't do that to me. Yeah, the shooting mechanics in this game... Bit funny. Nice! This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? Okay, so, uh, things obviously are not quite what they should be. This is not good. Um, but yeah, folks, um, this, uh, this, um, takes me to the shooting mechanics of this game, though. Quickly, if I talk about actually, you want to grab this radio, folks. Um, that noise we're hearing, I don't know if the game goes into it in any sort of detail as such. Um, I'll have a look here. Oh uh, yeah, portable radio that emits static when monsters are near. Um, and this will be on you at all times. Leave it on, folks. Um, that's static. I believe it's like white noise. None of the monsters in this game can actually hear it. So it's basically your way of knowing if there's a monster anywhere near you. You can see why that's a good item. Um, so make sure you grab that. But yes, this introduced me to the shooting mechanic of the game. Um, now, Harry Mason here, being, you know, just a your tourist, you know, not like a police officer or someone known to, you know, some biker chick who happens to know um, someone in the police, he does not have shooting experience. Obviously. Uh, I was about to say, is that ever going to load? Hmm, where could Cheryl have gone? Want to go down that alley again? You sure about that? I don't think that's a wise decision. Sound skipping ever so slightly, that's kind of annoying. So apparently, you know, we're going to go down that, that alley again. Okay then. Um, yes, you'll notice as well with the map, um, as you go on, as you play through, you will find Harry will actually sort of edit all these maps and put down bits of bobs, which is quite cool. Um, if we just quickly go down here as well, quickly, we'll grab something. But yes, Harry here is not... A, uh, he is not a, um, a trained shooter at all. And as a result, if I could press the right button, his accuracy with weapons is not that good. Um, and I want to say not that good. He's an alright shot, but don't expect him to win any marksman award 
so look at it that way, folks. Um, so, like, if I try and shoot something, that is a long way away, especially with all this fog. Not going to happen, folks. You are going to start missing, and, you know, you don't want to be screwing around and missing ammo and that sort of thing. Now, before we, um, start doing, um, before we, uh, start going around places, um, I first want to, um, visit a couple places, actually. Um, of course, yeah, as I quickly said, they've got the map here. we got, well, know where we need to go. Although, actually, we might as well go down there first, actually, before we start exploring a bit. Um, that might not be a bad idea. But if we um, run on down here, then... And in a moment, you'll probably hear... That. Which means there's a monster nearby! Ugh. Now, I hate these little bird things. I know they've all got names. I can't think of what they are. These are annoying, because they actually take a bit of a beating. Um, and they're pretty fast, actually. You know, they will... Keep you up! God damn it. And I don't want to shoot what I don't have to because, you know, what's the point? So just run away. There we go. I think we got away from him. There we go. Pretty good. So we must head down this alleyway again and, you know, we know we saw Cheryl run down here, so surely she must have gone down here. I heard something there. Yeah, you can actually, um, sort of, um, you can actually move while you're, um, sh aiming and shooting, which is kind of nice. Nice little feature. One thing you can do as well, folks, uh, if you might notice, uh, L2 and R2 can be used to, like, um, go sideways here. Etch, if you hold, um, the square button, I forgot about this, you can actually sort of run sideways, which is really nice for buggers like him. Um, now you'll probably hear now there's, a, like, a second kind of static. That's because the um yeah. Oh my god, there's loads of dogs! Whoa! Fuck me! Sound skipping a little bit again? Bloody hell. But yeah folks, um you'll find um as you're going through you'll hear that you've got like this type of static sound. And then you'll find um you'll sometimes hear like a, a more crackly sound. That means there's like a second enemy in the same vicinity. Um one of the big changes between um hard as well compared to other difficulties. The amount of enemies around really, really jacks up, folks. Really goes up, and of course, you can't take much damage. Is that a dog? That's a dog. Um, now, something you can use as well here, folks. Uh, there's something called, like, the... I, I forget what it's called exactly. Oh, I forget. You can use... Um, like, uh, I've got it as the L1 button. You can go out to the controls, see what it's actually called. And you can use that to, like, sort of look around um, sort of corners and that sort of thing. Pretty handy uh, ability, that. Uh oh Bloody dogs. Luckily, they're not so bad. And when they're down like this, folks, you just kick them. That'll do the job. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty good. You can do that. Um, you know, and the dogs here, luckily, they do not take many shots. They are very, very weak. Which is pretty nice. We've got a couple of uh, boxes of handgun bullets. Uh, little inside a little trick here, folks. Um, whenever you, um, like, fire your gun... Um, whoops, wrong button. Um, you don't have to go to this menu every time to reload. There's a little trick you can do. If you then, oh, I'm going gun. If you then sort of like, sort of hold it again, um, that will actually reload the gun for you. That will save you a lot of time. Little insider trick there. Just so you know. Uh, oh, we've got a few bits here. The skull. Isn't the Cheryl sketchbook? How do you know that? And why is the sound still skipping? <laughs> <laughs> She's at the school. Hmm, I might need to have a look at that sound in a moment. So you think because of that she's at the school? It's a bit of a guess, isn't it? It's not on the other side of town. Well, if you want to go to the school, then I'm going to tell you now, I suppose. What's this? That's supposed to be you. How do you work that? How does Harry work out that's him? I don't know. Oh right, you might recognise the actual picture itself. Oh well I'll give um I'll give Harry the, the benefit of the doubt there. What we got here? We got a a lead or oh, a steel pipe I should say. He's saying lead pipe because uh Resident Evil. That's actually not a bad weapon that uh is that for a melee weapon, I don't think. Well, we obviously can't go through here. Um, 
Basically, so how the hell did we get through the last time? I mean, a bit weird. <laughs> well, anyway, folks, so I'm I've gone over the 20 minutes. I know that, um, but I wanted to get to about this point. Um, so yeah, so I'm really happy to be back, um, and you know, I welcome you to to the world of Silent Hill, folks. Um, where believe me, you will enjoy it. You will enjoy it. if you enjoy Resident Evil. I don't see a reason why you can't enjoy this game. Anyways, folks, um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I might have a quick look at the sound, if I can be asked. Um, oh, dear, I shouldn't have said that. Now, no, now it looks like I don't care. Um, I best go check it anyways. Um, so, yeah, so, anyways, folks, um, so, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video.